At the request of one of my patients, today I am reviewing the neck hammock. So I've been seeing this all over Facebook, all over Instagram, and I wanted to find out for myself if it works. You know, before we give any advice to our patients on things, I will look at things to see if they make sense. Uh, but more importantly, I try to try them out myself or have someone else try them out to be the guinea pig and find out if this is something that's worthwhile. Uh, so this is called the neck hammock. It was about 20 bucks, and this is what you get. So it's in a, uh, in a bag here. Uh, this is all the instructions that you get. And if you look at this picture, my concern was how am I going to achieve that particular result? With this device, what you're supposed to be looking for is cervical traction, which means they want the spine to lengthen out this way and create space in between the vertebrae, which is a good thing. Traction's been around a really long time. There's lots of different devices out there that promise to do cervical traction, but this one didn't make as much sense to me because of how it's situated. There was nothing to hold the head in place, and I didn't understand how going this way with it was going to create that result. They do show that this should help with tension headaches, with neck and shoulder pain, with muscle pain, poor sleep, stress, posture, difficulty relaxing, and avoiding expensive therapy. There is, however, no instructions on how to use this device. Uh, the simple science behind it, how it works, the back page just describes again how cervical traction would work. Um, you're, they're encouraging you to use it daily for about 10 minutes. So when you open up the bag, inside I'm getting this device. All looks good so far. I mean, I get it. I don't understand what it's for. So it's got some pads here for resting your head. Uh, pads here to make it comfortable when it's on the side here and then there's a, a strap or that connects here so that you can then attach it to a door frame now in order for me to find in order for me to find out how this worked I actually had to go google it I had to go type in neck hammock how do you make it work how do you do it because again there's no instructions included with it so I think like most purchases like this there's still a tendency for people to never actually use it but I can see from some of this stuff, I was a little concerned at the um, weakness of this particular link. Um, you can't feel it, but I can feel it. And you can tell, I don't know that my head's gonna stay on that for very long. It's not something that I think will hold up under long use. But the most concerning part was this part. Now, this is supposed to attach, it says, to a door. And as I started looking at it, I'm going, I have no idea how this is gonna make it onto a door. Because if you look at, if I'm hooking it onto a door, this is up way too high, which is different uh, than that picture, right? So the picture is the lady's laying on the ground a mere couple inches off the floor, and so that's not going to work. The other part is there are some other plasticky clips too that again are pretty cheap. I'm not sure that that would work. Uh, but again, it's a $20 device, so I didn't expect it to be you know, this thing I would hand down for generations for our family. But this part here, again, I'm not 100% sure. So after Googling this information, they say to shove this through to a doorknob on the opposite side of the door, close the door, and then have it um, suspend there. So I will show you um, why I think this is not a good device and is not going to achieve the results that you're going for, what it says it's going for, but I can still see how some people might still like it. So I'll, I'll stop this video here. I'm gonna demonstrate it and use my wife to demonstrate this. And I will have to say, I could not find a door handle in our office that would accommodate this device. These, uh, this part was either too long or this part was too long and there's nothing I could do to shorten it up. So I am going to try to hold it in place and I am gonna to try to follow their um, example, which is to attach it to the doorknob. But I think you're gonna see why that was troublesome. All right, see you in a minute. So again, I have this strap, and you're supposed to, well, that's not good. You're supposed to attach this to the doorknob, and then close the door. So you can see that by doing that, it is on the floor. So that's not going to work. Now, if I try to attach it to the top of the door, that's one's way too high. So even a regular 
standard door in a house. I, I don't think that's going to work based on how they're saying. I'm not sure how far away I'm supposed to get from this or how, how we're supposed to do that. So we can do this by hand and you'll, we'll get an idea of how this is supposed to work. So my wife's going to demonstrate this. So she still had the idea that maybe it would still work if we pulled it away, but you can see if you apply it and start to pull away, I mean, other than yeah, at the risk of bunging or head off into uh, back into the door, <laughs> it starts to pull away. So she understands the concept. She understands how this is supposed to traction, but not every patient is going to grab that and understand. So again, in the picture, it does not show the lady holding her head there. And I don't know if you can tell there, but she is touching the ground, right? So her head is not elevated in any way to do that. And it's not being pulled either. Right. So she's not pull it. Right. So she's not, it's not being pulled. So part of that might have been, I mean, what I expected to find or what I thought might work is if there was some sort of way of strapping the head in there. Okay, so in my opinion, this is not a device that's going to deliver like it should. Now, I've seen other things out there where, I mean, if you just simply rested your head in there and you were holding it up, it would suspend your head, which would take some pressure off of your neck by having your neck rested in that hammock format that they're suggesting. And I can see where that would be comfortable, but I don't believe that that will achieve cervical traction. So the idea is to create separation there, right? We're not gonna see that separation when we have no device that's holding there. I mean, you really need, and you'll see this in a lot of other devices, where something straps in, it's gonna hold the head steady before it tractions and pulls. And so this one is simply resting on top of it, which means you're not gonna get that traction effect that you're really looking for. So we have other devices that we'll continue to review. There's one that separates this way. There's others that will go over the door. We're gonna to continue to find the right traction devices. Uh, you'll have our latest recommendations here in the notes of the, of the video or on this page. But this one, unfortunately, I think is not going to work. It's not gonna be worth the $20 it's, um, that we spent on it to see if it worked. Um, if you have a different result, if you think I'm wrong, uh, please reply in the comments. Let me know how this is working for you. Um, but I don't see it. Thanks. Have a good day.